Fujifilm X100V. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt, this is Why Creatives, and today I want to start sharing the Fujifilm recipes I enjoy using. Now this is the Fujifilm X100V. It's that super popular one that's been going around, probably seen it on most of your social medias if you follow the Fuji trend. This recipe can be replicated on most of the Fujifilm cameras as that's a part of the Fujifilm thing is to have these film simulations or Fuji recipes. Depending on what you model you have, you may just have to tweak it slightly. But before we get into that, I'm super excited. Fujifilm on February 20th, which is like a week and a half out, is going to be releasing their new Fujifilm X100 6 or VI supposedly, and also their X-Pro4. So keep an eye out for that. I'm excited to see what they do. Supposedly their new Fujifilm X100 6 is going to have more megapixels and IBIS which is something that I would like to see as a hybrid shooter. I don't really use this video, and if it does have it, maybe I'll start using it a little bit more, but we'll have to wait and see in the comments below. Let me know if you're getting excited about this announcement, just like I am. Do you think you're going to pick up the new Model 6? Do you think you're going to even be able to get your hands on one? It's going to be another thing where, or do you think everyone's going to be trying to grab this and maybe it's time to grab a Model 5 like I have here? The Fuji recipe that I'm going to be going over this week is the Cinestill 800T. Now, I found this on the Fuji X Weekly app. If you don't have it, go ahead and download it. There's a ton of recipes up there, and that's where I'll start for my baseline. Over the winter, we went to a Landrin Festival, and these are some of the photos that I took there. I really enjoy using this film simulation, especially at night with the lanterns. I think if you take these in the evening or at night with anywhere with like neon or bright lights like a gas station or that style of aesthetic, I think this would be perfect for it. And if you're looking for these settings specifically, I'm going to list them right here. So let me know in the comments if you enjoy those photos. Let me know if you'd like me to turn this into a series of different Fuji recipes that I use. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.